The next project that we're going to be looking at doing is making up um, a taco for our second lathe. This is our first lathe here and this is the system that we've set up on here. Now the actual kit comes with the taco, this part here, and the Hall Effect sensor which is attached here. And the way that it operates is that there's a magnet attached to the chuck and as that rotates through, right, that's picked up by, by the Hall Effect sensor and as you can see here starting to put a readout up, up on to the screen. The way that we designed this is just simply that I didn't want this as a permanent fixture, I wanted it to be able to be removed. Um, so it's held on by magnets and it's all lined up accordingly and the same as right the um, readout there is on the same, same type of setup. And what we've got attached to it is a, um, a 12 volt power supply and we'll show all that as we go through the process of making making this up and putting it together. Now the reason we're putting a taco on here is just to verify that when we do the speed changes on the lathe and that's done through various um, positions of the belt with reference to the motor and drive spindles and as you can see here as you do your various selections you go from a low speed to a high speed and by having the taco on there it, ju it just gives us some confidence that we're on or around about that actual speed of the lathe. Another area that we've attached like the taco system to or electronic taco to is also to our drill press and again for the same reasons um, with, with different um, Right, pulley drives and belt combinations, right, um, you have a range of speeds that can be achieved. Now on the drill, um, the drill press itself, um, what we've done here is we've got the, right, the Hall Effect sensor here and we've got the magnet right, um, right positioned and fixed to right the top of the drive, drive pulley there for the spindle consequently you know, as you close that down, you know, and as that rotates, right, it picks up the magnetic influence of the magnet and you get your readout off, right, your electronic display. Right, the parts to actually make this up, um, we've got a utility box here that's just bought through one of the suppliers, you know, electronic suppliers, or you can get those online somewhere. And the same with the TACO units, um, they're bought online as well. From yeah, you know, from various suppliers, and this this part comes with all this. So you have your display, right? Your sensor will pick up. Um, you, right, right. Your control cable, right, for your display, and they also give you a small disc magnet for the unit to operate. And what we'll be doing here is that we'll be running through the process of actually mounting that into the utility box. So this is going to fit onto there and be recessed back into the box. And then we'll be able to hook up the electronics. Alright, so the first part of our exercise is to mount the display to the front cover of the utility box. Now to do that we've got to work out the dimensions of the actual cutout that we've got to do um, and on this particular one we're looking at around about about 71 millimeters by about 39 millimeters so that's what we've got to um, mark out on here and then we'll have to cut that area out and to fit it now the other other interesting point is is that the actual display units have a catch system. You can see this one's been stressed here, so we'll have to be careful with that. But the the gap in that um, in that area is only about one millimeter. So you know the, the width of this ruler is about one millimeter. The thickness of the cover plate is three millimeters. So we've got to allow for that, or otherwise we're going to have difficulty right f fitting the unit in. So what we'll have to do is take about two millimeters off this little catch here so that when this is pressed in um, the actual front cover will sit in that gap there you know like neatly and it won't let this thing rock around too much or at all. 
Alright, so our method of marking this out is going to be using you know, a wide strip of masking tape which we've just placed over the area that we'll need to do right the cutout for fitting the display into the right front cover. And as you can see here, we've, you know, we've marked up the area and um, adjusted it accordingly. Now we've also done a sanity check, you know, we've placed the display on there, just done a check that, that we are correct with our measurements. Now that's going to be a fairly tight fit, now we'll probably have to fold that off a little bit, alright, to get it to fit nice and neatly. Alright, so our next process is to actually drill the corner holes out so we can start the cutting process. Now the important part here is don't try to hold these by hand because what will happen with these right drill bits is that as they're cutting through and they get to the bottom area they'll catch on that breakthrough and when they catch they'll just take off and spin spin out of control so we're using a clamp system just to hold it down and to keep it level and flat process is we've got the four holes drilled and we've got to be able to fit the right taco display into the top cover so what we're going to have to do is remove that excess area in the middle here and the first way we're going to do that is is with our little saw now what we're going to do is we're going to undo the saw take the blade out of its retainer and feed it through the holes, and that's why we drill the holes in in the plastic in the first place. So obviously we had to make those holes just big enough to get the saw blade in. And what we'll do now is set that up as such and be able to clamp that down. And that's held firm, firmly there. And what we'll do now is just slowly start working our way down the line. Now I can see the line this side. And just by using the saw and just working our way down, we can just follow that line down nice and easily. And the saw, the saw cuts the plastic quite, quite smoothly. So what we're doing now is we're just going to um, take the saw out and then what we could do is repeat the process by putting the saw back in the other way and then continuing on the cut but what we're going to do now is just try something different and we're going to use a Dremel right just to cut that remaining section just for um, a different method. Alright, just as a different method, as I mentioned before, we're going to use the Dremel and this has got a, a little cutoff blade on it and we're not going to rev her right up because otherwise she just melts through the material more so than cuts. So I'll put a, little, a few revs on and just follow the line.
So I pretty much cut to the line, and that was using both methods on this particular um, right panel. We left a little bit of line, um, most of it's been cut pretty much to the line. And what we're going to do now is just to file those corners out. So what we're doing now is just doing a general fit. Now we can see that the ends, both ends are fitting quite nicely and both sides are fitting quite nicely. Just a little bit tight in one corner. So what we'll do now is just go through and just remove a little bit of excess plastic and that should be about it. So as you can see now, we've just taken that little bit off that we needed to and it's fitting in there quite nice. Now the issue we've got now is we've got these retaining lugs that are attached to right the display. So what we have to do now is um, right, just mark those out and we've got to cut in about two millimetres on each end. So as you can see here we've marked the um, two areas here that we need to cut out. The first part we're going to do is just bring the little saw in. We're just going to cut down to the line on each on each side of the mark. Just clear that away, make sure we're not going too far. Now I've turned it around and I'm just doing the other side. Again, just taking it down to that line that we mucked on there for about two millimeters. All right, so the setup here, as you can see, is that we just put a protection board arm underneath the plastic so it doesn't move around, and we're just using one of the larger clamps to hold it all steady. And to get rid of that little notch we have to take out, we're just going to use the chisel and bring it straight down and just slowly work it through the plastic. <laughs> So it cuts through as such and then come over the other side and just knocks that out as well. Now we'll do that on both sides and it gives us a nice clean cut. Now the next part is to be able to fit the display into right the front cover. But the problem we have is this gap here is is too narrow. So you, can, you should be able to see here some ridges that are on this right retaining tag. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cut that to that second ridge. And we're going to use the Dremel to do that. And we're just going to cut that through. So we just trim them back a bit and what we're just going to do now is just to clean them up. The Dremel tends to um, cut and burn at the same time because of the high revs that it's running at. You do get a clean cut but it doesn't look too good to start with. So as you can see here we've got the right, right centre part cut out for the display to fit into and we've recessed on both sides right to allow for the retaining lugs to fit in. And now I can just put that down and nice fit.